here I am about to publish my first ever vlog. Today, I'll be having two very special guests with me. They are both very mashallah people and never in a million years did I foresee that the three of us could actually sit together and do content for one another. Hi, I'm Serena and, and we're, we're social, social media, media addicts. addicts and social media is a huge part of our Guys, everyday life. We are at our favourite place in Singapore which is Wardah Bookstore. First book is Purification of the Heart, it's by Shef. Paper beat stone. Stone beat scissors. <laughs> Can't we just like... Okay, you go first. Yeah, sorry guys. You just killed the child in me. Assalamualaikum. Um, so welcome to my very first vlog. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. And the best part is I get to have these two mashallah wonderful sisters with me. Uh, then and other, I don't think they, they need any introduction. Bon. They introduce Maybe they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a very high chance. Yeah, exactly. They don't know. Okay. We have Aina Azim in the house oh. and Raja Sarina Iskandar. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. This is yeah. my first time meeting Aida. I've met Sarina for a couple of times already. Alhamdulillah. And I asked her. Um, I just want to have them both in my vlog as my first vlog because I think that would be a very great start. It's going to be like a very good benchmark for me as well wow. because initially I've been stalling mm -hmm. to do this vlog for the longest time ever. I think it's close to two years that I think. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the reason being is okay, I am not that confident at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I told you before I had I had insecurities because I think that uh, I don't have nothing much to share. Nobody's gonna watch my video anyway. They will. Yeah, they will. Yeah, but after I after I've lost my job, I think that this might be the right time for me. And at the same time, I think uh, I have clearer purpose and intention of why I wanna do this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you you were saying that you. We're scared that nobody would watch. Yeah. But you know what? This is something that I realized when you put out like videos or anything for your YouTube channel, you should make videos that you are interested in doing. So whether like there's someone watching or not, that's like the bonus part of it all. Yeah. But if you're proud of creating that content, then you should just publish it because you're doing it for you first. Yeah. If you are always waiting for like mm -hmm. the audience. You know, true, true. Yeah. And God knows how many footages I have in my <laughs> Yeah, you probably have like a year worth of content. You know? Yeah, but really, because uh, the thing that I think uh, Sarina also played a very important role in this because I think you have motivated me in a sense that Sarina is always the natural <laughs> What I do, I can't remember because what I did. Previously, she, she said that she had insecurities when she wants to go and be a a speaker. Uh, oh, a public speaker, yeah. yeah. Speaker, a public speaker. And then you, when you actually let it all out when you were, you know, speaking in public, especially during our session with Ustad Mizi the other day in Singapore, Singapore, and you actually cried. So, mm. And it kind of like gave me this a new motivation. Mm. Hey, if mm. she can do it, why oh, can't I? Yeah. I'm so, oh my God, I'm so touched. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, look, seriously, what actually, what motivates you to just and what gives you the confidence, you know? For me, I realised... I can't remember whether it was Aida. I feel like this is all... We're all kind of influencing <laughs> each other. Sure. But I remember um, uh, sometime before my first talk with Ustad Mizi, that was in the uh, KL, I remember you told me that you can only get better. So I started off my career by being advertising. I was in advertising for two years 
But even as I entered um, the advertising world, I already knew I wasn't going to be there for long. I've always known that I wanted to actually be a, a counsellor. And the day that I received the acceptance letter was the day that my late cousin was diagnosed with cancer. But then, of course, at the back of my head, I knew that whatever Allah has ordained for me is the best for me. But you know, just because I knew that doesn't mean it was easy. And I just wanted to share that with everyone. Like, when we say all these things, in terms of my patience, we trust in Allah, but by all means, we know it is not, it is not easy. You know, it also takes practice. God is delaying something with the Tehafus Nuzan that perhaps He knows that we are not ready yet, and when the right time comes, we will get it. Sure. And I guess it's true, I am what my servant thinks of me, yeah? Hey, I'm here on stage with you! Mashallah! And me! And you! <laughs> and you! I feel like I'm side guy here, but that's alright. Hey, okay, I chatted with you an hour and a half, yeah? I can totally ignore the subject of me. get better, I'll never grow, I'll never improve. Okay. So I realise now I take things positively, even if things like, for example, if I go on stage and it doesn't turn out the way I want it to, but it's fine, I'm getting better, you know, okay. I'm going up. up, up. Okay. So this is a great first step that you're actually pressing record and then I'm like doing this. And I'm still so shy about it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm shy about it. You want to be a TV host? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's why I was like a bit this confused. So I think your next step will be just publishing it. Okay, Once, when you publish it, do not be on the computer and pressing refresh. You publish it, then go about and do your day-to-day yeah. -day stuff. Go have coffee with me. Exactly. Go hang out with your friends. <laughs> Don't think about it at the end. You know, if you if you feel like it, then check. Mm. Yeah, but you see, even my posture is not like the confident posture. It's like, uh, what is the confident? Okay, okay, right, right. Let's do this. Like you sit up straight, right? <laughs> and like, yeah, uh, <laughs> cool about it. But tapi tu lah. Um, yeah, hopefully I, hopefully I can publish this. <laughs> yes, you should. Sure? Sure. I still have no doubt if I want to publish this or not. <laughs> Because once you publish this, you can keep referring to it like, hey, I used to uh, speak like this, oh, exactly. and then now it's so much better, you know? Right. Okay, so like I said, Ken, uh, the two of you have inspired me a lot. Uh, you, in terms of, um, you is like just mashallah. Like, I mean, I've watched all your videos, and it really helped me, um, like, you know what? Hey, I can do this too. And yeah. you're also a good writer, and it really gave me a lot of insights. Um, so, I mean, as someone young, dah, Matang lah, mature in this area, kan? Uh, especially you and the society now. What would you advise uh, to me um, as a newbie and as a first timer, as a first yeah, blogger? I still feel like a newbie. Yeah, see, so, it's like when you say matang, I'm like, mm -hmm. I've only been doing this for like a year or two. But you're like an expert in it. I mean, just I think look at your videos. videos. Everybody starts out in your position. I was just like you, like when I first started out too. But I think I had this like sense of goju like goju ah! goju ah, that's, like, yeah, that's I, a hashtag i think as if the hashtag is goju yeah because like i mean what's the worst thing that could happen right i don't know it's not as bad as you think it would be mm -hmm. and i think you are the biggest thing that is standing in your way so mm -hmm. i have my own luggage lah yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you watch that yeah oh, it, it, it was a very creative video okay that was a very she creative way of telling it you should watch where okay. Ida brings. I think there's like seven languages. No la, no la. No, there's seven languages. Five. <laughs> okay, five. But anyways, my okay. point is, um, yeah, you are the only one standing in your way to doing this seriously. And I think being the professional that you are, you might nitpick a few things, mm -hmm. but you gotta cut yourself some slack because you are a one woman show. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not like you have a Hollywood production. You know, helping you like the five cameramen. So you gotta like lower your expectation, but don't lower your standards. Yeah, don't lower your standards. Yeah, your standards should always be for Allah. 
but the lower apa. your expectations like to not have it like macam Netflix production or something that's just I think you know, something Ida has taught me you said that um, people don't appreciate perfection as much as they appreciate sincerity yeah so yeah. always be sincere in what you do and I think that's what I try very very hard to do like it's not about um, creating something that's perfect it's about being sincere in what you put out there exactly yeah. and I think you have that Mashallah. Wow, <laughs> already <boss>. have all this. <laughs> okay, and I, like I told you before, I, I think I have clear purposes and intentions when I want to do this. And uh, it's just because I want to make sure that this video, inshallah, will be of benefit to a lot of, uh, not just women out there, a lot of Muslims out there. And inshallah, this will bring more Muslims and more new come, upcoming yeah, Muslims exactly. you know, in, to our religion. And at the same time, this is actually my form of hidma. Mm-hmm. I make it that intention that this is actually my form of hitma because this is the only thing that I'm good at. Mm. Talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I said, okay. Yeah. That's the only thing I said. And as you said, I, I cannot imagine myself doing anything but this. Mm. So if this can be a form of hitma, so let it be. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Good advice. My advice. <laughs> I thought I already shared it. My advice. Do it with sincerity. Yeah, do it with sincerity. I have one more. Share what you know. Yeah, share what you're passionate about. Because people can tell when you're passionate about things. Also, please, 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 just be consistent. Okay, inshallah. Oh. I I consistent as in, this. I need to publish it once a week. Or it maybe doesn't like, matter what is your frequency, whatever that's most comfortable to you. But like, be consistent about it to a point where you can see that you are getting better with mm. every publish. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What if I got burnt out? When out is very take natural. Break. Yeah, take, take a break. break. I think I learned that from Serena. You know when she did like a social media detox? So everyone talks about it. It's like me talk about my social yeah, media detox. It's oh. very hard. I think yes. living in this day and age where you are pressured to like constantly show mm. up. But so you, you have to remember, we all have to remember that our body has a right over us. Mm. That it needs rest and break. And without our mind as well. <laughs> yeah, you cannot come up with new ideas. So yeah, just you know, be listen to your body and see what is it. But the thing is, do not confuse it with laziness lah. Mm. Yeah, okay. And just throw the exercise. I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to do it. Okay. Something I learned about Usad Mizi, he said, uh, learn to take breaks, mm. not to quit. Yeah, mm. very important. Mm. I think he needs to take that advice. Yeah, so I did. I did lecture him about this. I, I did. Look. <laughs> wow. So there's a reason why I want to take a spiritual retreat for a while. Maybe, inshallah, after I publish this, I won't. <laughs> won't be around Malaysia for quite some time and then after I go back hopefully I get more ideas inshallah. and content for me to produce uh, for the benefit of everyone like in the future inshallah so what can we um, look forward to in your channel mm. my focus would be more on lifestyle mm. I was thinking of doing a book reviews Oh, that's uh, nice. And more that. purposeful Love journey, it. purposeful traveling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I think nowadays mm-hmm. a lot of people yeah. just travel for the sake of, you know, travel for, for the, the gram. gram. Travel for, for the, the gram. gram. Yeah. Yeah. Travel for the gram. And I think it's, I think it's time that we shift um, those, you know, uh, ideas or mentality to something that is more purposeful. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm gonna make my travel more pur- purposeful this year, inshallah. inshallah. And I'm gonna try to vlog it as much as I can. That sounds like you have like we have. We really have things yeah, for everything figured out. <laughs> we just need to press publish. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hopefully I can do that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. Party. And while you guys are watching this, actually the reason why Ida Azin is here and my humble abode is because we are about to um, be part of a podcast, yes, Michelle. Wow. And the reason why I bring Sarina and another friend with me is because this is actually my first time meeting Ida. So I just so want to get... So you said I was psycho? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm shy. I'm shy in the sense that I've never met you before. So Got I just it. want someone to at least check yes. in, they know each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Break the ice. Uh, the ice has melted, people. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> it has become ice cream. Oh, I, oh, I have another yeah. ice cream. <laughs> Do you want ice cream? Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking, I think I have another okay. of a piece idea. of it. No, no, advice. idea. Advice. Okay. Whatever you put out there, always ask yourself how does this add meaning to the person who is uh, watching, watching, this, watching this, yeah. watching this, consuming this, whatever it is. Because that's kind of. I always have to tell myself that sometimes when I before I post a selfie, I'm like, is this really going to benefit others? It benefits my life. Even though sometimes I still enjoy. do, I still do. I mean, I can I try to add a bit of humor into it, lah. Sometimes, yeah. Okay, lah. 
I'm quite good at that, so inshallah. Yeah, inshallah okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Aida. Thank you, Sarina, yeah. for the word of advice and encouragement. <laughs> Please make doa for me. So, <laughs> we will. Okay, so um, I guess I'm gonna put that line for me when I'm supposed to publish this. Come with me. If you like it, please share it. Subscribe to my channel and yeah, do it your style. Yeah. I don't know how I develop a style of it. <laughs> Like, yo, what's okay. up? Don't forget to subscribe to Banana TV. Is that it? Well, I don't know. Is that it's called Banana yeah, TV. Yeah. So it's called Banana TV. Initially, I want to, I want to call it Al Mauza TV because Al Mauza is but it also sounds pizza, so right? like. But yeah, it's so like yeah, like 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 yeah. I don't know, you know, like the terrorist terrorist pun yeah juga. <laughs> but okay, like just Banana TV for now. Yeah. It sounds so, cute. Yeah, and people so will cute. be later more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But then that's good. Yeah. And it it reflects your cuteness. Yeah, although right. I prefer durian in the bottom. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like durian. You do the color of durian. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why I like durian. Yeah, durian. Yeah. Dia dah matang. Oh, okay. Dia dah matang. No, no, no. I don't think you're matang. You're durian too, matang like you. Okay. I'm good. People call it matang, you know? Yeah, it's a good. Yeah, it's a good for me. Yeah. More matang. All right. I said that many times today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And yeah, please make dua for me. So yeah, so now I go. Eh, belum. Eh, belum. Belum like. Oh, okay. Do that again. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. Yeah, if you enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, and leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. Nice ones. Okay. <laughs> so, I know. Oh my God! I don't know. <laughs>